you're definitely right about that uh, age divide. We've seen it in polling and we want to probe a bit more into this, but you're not, you know, your generation wasn't brought up to be scared of the bomb. Exactly. You, you yeah. were brought up to be, par you know, absolutely paralysed with fear about climate change, yeah. so which goes to my next point. So um, the, 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 the rise of the teal independence, we all recognise, you know, the stereotype of the teal. And actually, it's not just a stereotype. It seems to be quite consistent mm. that, that the teal movement or certainly the teal uh, representatives are of a type, you know, that they're, they tend to be uh, uh, mothers, uh, ed high educated, they've had a university education, they're curious about the world. Uh, they, they, they are part of that, what we used to call the mum's net thing. Um, uh, now, it, it all in terms of purposes, I, I don't want to stereotype you, but you're in that bracket. Yeah. In, in, in fact, not only that, uh, Claire, one more piece of evidence. You come from Port Adelaide, and as we know, Port Adelaide uh, wear teal and black shirts. So <laughs> you, you, why aren't you a teal? What make, why do you, why are you such a refreshing thinker in that you, um, you don't, you buck that conventional wisdom? Uh, that's an interesting question. I would just say that to me, the teals represent a particular class and they are upper middle class women from very wealthy electorates. And I'm not saying that uh, that there's anything wrong with being upper middle class or coming from a wealthy electorate. However, I would just argue that when you have money, a uh, substantial amount of money, your concerns and interests differ from someone who doesn't have a lot of money. Now, <laughs> when I was growing up in Port Adelaide, um, you know, it's a more modest, a more more humble environment. Uh, you're not necessarily worrying about the world ending 10 years from now or 20 years from now. You're worried about paying the bills next week, you know. And so there's a bit of a uh, disjunction between your pri priorities for living today and living tomorrow. Now, there's nothing wrong with planning for the future and developing policies and ideas for the future. I actually think that's really important. But what I don't like about the Teals is that they, they virtue signal about it. It's done in a flashy manner, almost to signal their wealth and their luxury. To me, uh, some of their uh, positions are what I would describe as luxury beliefs. <laughs> it's look at how wealthy and comfortable we are. We, can, we, we want to invest in these new technologies um, that are only going, you know, we're only going to see the results in decades from now. I mean, you could say the same about nuclear technology. I would just argue that nuclear technology has more science behind it. Um, so, you know, there's, there's legitimate policy differences there. But the thing that I don't like about the Teals is the virtue signaling that goes with it. And, um, you know, they obviously do represent a particular class's interests. Mm. 